Welcome to Get Stores and welcome to another video in the LT Spy series. Now, in the previous video, I showed you how to save your graphs and use schematics as screenshots or as images. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you a better way to do that. So, for the graphs specifically, now you can actually plot your LT Spice graphs in Python, and that will then allow you to save your graphs as higher quality documents like PDFs or even a higher quality image. So this is how you do that. So right click on your graph and go to file then export data as text. Select the location where you actually want to save your txt file. So I just save it here in my documents then click OK. Now what we've done is we've essentially now saved all of the points which are linked to this graph over here. So let me just quickly do this again. So what I want to do is I want to change this to 100 nano so that we have less points to deal with. And if I rerun that simulation, then come here, do the same thing, right click, file, export data as TXT, save it in the same location and just replace that previous one. So yes, then okay. So a new TXT is now saved and this is what it looks like. So this is a TXT file which has all of our values which you've now extracted from this graph. So what we want to do in Python is we want to read those values and then plot them. So now I'll open Visual Studio Code and I already have a file called plot.py. So you need matplotlib for this to work as well as pandas just to read all of those values. So let's start. Import matplotlib. So this one, pyplot as plt and we're going to need pandas as i said and if you don't have any of these modules you can just pip install or just google how to install these so pip install pandas pip install matplotlib then you should have them so down here in your terminal or anywhere else so we're going to call this pd so as pd then we're going to define a variable which is going to store all of the values which you now have from the file so we're going to use pandas for that. We're going to read this. So we're going to use this function called read CSV. So in here, we're just going to specify your file path. So wherever you save that file that has the data points. So in that file, you have those points. So you have to access those points in this function. And once you have access to that, you can specify the file name. So in quotation marks, you're going to have the path to that and make sure you have double slashes for your path so that this would work. So the path already has a slash. So just add an extra one so that Python can read this correctly. Then you're going to write down your file name. So in my case, I have double underscore balanced underscore mixer or txt and make sure your spelling is correct. Otherwise, it won't recognize the file. Before we proceed, you can just print the data which we now read. So just print that variable to make sure that it is reading that file correctly. So let's see what the output is. Expect, expect it to have the exact same values that we previously had in the open file. And it looks like it does, but you have a strange thing here. So you have a slash t which you're seeing over there. And that is essentially just a tab, so the space which you see in the file. So if you look at the file itself, you'll see that there's some space between time and v, and there's some space over there. But now, when you read it from the file, it appears as slash t, which is just the code for that tab or that space in between. So now we want to remove that so that we can correctly distinguish between the two columns as well as the two column headings. So you do this by specifying delimiter, so let's say delimiter equals slash t. And let's rerun this to see what the result is. So expect it to correctly separate the two columns so, so that we can actually now plot this column against that column. So the time against the voltage. And it did that correctly. You don't have that slash t anymore. And now we can start plotting. So if we erase this line, skip a line you don't have to but let's just skip a line then say we want to plot the time column against 
the voltage column so whatever the other voltage column is called so this is your your node's name so in your LT spice if you had named this differently then that will be your node's name then we are going to assign some labels so the X label will be the time as we saw in LT spice and on the Y axis would now have the voltage so if you have voltage in volts and finally we have to show our plot so it did plot but it's not showing it to us so you need this final command or this final line of code and that is essentially it this is how you plot your lt spice graph in in python so you just make sure you read the file so you're reading the file using that line first of all you have to save the file so right click your graph then go to file then save as txt in your preferred location read the file using this line plot the time against the voltage whatever other parameter which you are currently plotting on your graph then you can give your label so that it looks good and finally just show your graph and as you can see it's a cleaner graph and you can actually inspect it if you want and also you can save this as a pdf so if you press on press that button over there you can decide which file format you want to use so i hope this video is useful and you now know how to plot lt spice graphs in python so if you found the video useful please give it a thumbs up if you have any questions just leave them in the comment section and this is actually the last video in the lt spice series but i'll still see you in the next video